Lesson 2.2a, Dividing Integers. We're going to go over the Explore activity in the textbook, and we're going to talk about how division and multiplication are inverses. Division is the inverse of multiplication. They undo each other. 5 times 4 is equal to 20, and 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Therefore, the rules for dividing integers are related to the rules for multiplying integers. We can divide integers by writing a related multiplication problem. So because division is the inverse of multiplication, multiplication and division share the same rules for multiplying and dividing integers. If they're like signs, our answer will be positive. If there are unlike signs, our answer is negative. When we simplify fractions, we're actually doing division. Fractions are division problems. If we have 10 fifths, it's equal to 2. We can look at it as a division problem of 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 48 sixths is equal to 8, as 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8. For word problems, we need to pay attention to clue words that tell us which sign to use. If it says Sam descends 8 feet, we're going to use a negative 8. Descends tells us it's going down. Tala climbed 15 meters. We'll use a positive 15. She climbed. She went up. Bob withdrew $40 from his bank account. We use a negative 40. If he withdrew money, his account went down in value. Here's some clue words. If it's going to be a negative integer, you might see dropped, reduced, decreased, lost, spent, declined, downward, loses. If it's positive, you might see raised, increased, found, earned, gained, ascend, upward, gains. These clue words are going to tell us if we need to use a negative or positive integer writing our problem. This problem says Sarah spent $20 by spending an equal amount at two different stores. How much did she spend at each store? Using a vertical number line, you can see it skip counts by twos, and it's going down into the negatives. We can start at zero. We're going to end at negative 20, because that's how much she spent. And we're going to make two even amounts, two equal amounts. That means there's a negative 10 and another negative 10. To solve this problem, we can set up a division problem. We can write it as a fraction, as a division problem. We can rewrite the division problem as a multiplication problem. We think some number multiplied by 2 is equal to negative 20. As the product is negative, one of the factors must be a negative. Because if this is positive and that's a negative, this needs to be a negative so they have unlike signs to make that a negative. We know 20 divided by 2 is 10, and 2 times 10 is 20. This must be a negative 10. Negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. This means Sarah spent $10 at each store. Here we have a division problem. We have a negative 250 divided by 5. We rewrite the division problem as a multiplication problem. 5 times some number is equal to a negative 250. On a vertical number line, we start at 0. We're going to end at negative 250. We're going down into the negatives. We need to split this into 5 equal parts. Each part will be 50. We think if the product is negative, one of the factors must be negative. It must be a negative 50. They have unlike signs, so the quotient must be negative. Here our division problem is negative 54 divided by negative 6. We rewrite it as multiplication. 
we have a negative 6 times some number is equal to negative 54. We think the missing factor must be positive in order for the product to be negative. The factors must have unlike signs. And 6 times 9 is equal to 54. It must be 9. A positive 9. They have like signs, so the quotient must be positive. A conjecture is a statement believed to be true. We can make conjecture about the quotient of two integers with the same sign. Our conjecture is that the quotient will be a positive number. And we can justify our conjecture by writing division as related multiplication because they're inverse operations. If they have the same sign, like negative 16 divided by negative 2, we can write a related multiplication sentence as negative 2 times some number is equal to negative 16. And that would be a positive 8 for them to have unlike signs to equal a negative. These have like signs. We're going to have a positive quotient. Negative 16 divided by negative 2 is equal to positive 8. When we divide like signs, our quotient will be positive. When we divide unlike signs, our quotient will be negative. We finished 2.2a. We're going to move to 2.2b and talk about dividing integers. We're going to talk about absolute value. and We're going to talk about 0 as a divisor. Keep trying your best. I'm proud of you for watching math videos. And join me for our next lesson. Bye.